Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, we're checking out Arrow Season 7, Episode 13, entitled... Star City Slayer. Star City Slayer. I'm guessing this has to do with the notes that Laurel got, and also um, Dinah got in her car. I will come find you or something. I guess that's what, maybe. Why would it, like, Star City, like, that sounds like this is the person that's maybe after them, I'm guessing. If you hear any background noise, uh, that's our neighbor... It, it's, it's 8 o'clock and he's out there. And it's dark. I, it's dark. I don't fucking know. Anyways, um, I'm excited because the last episode was like a documentary. Like well, They were in the process of doing a documentary. And then we saw at the end where like they're watching it from the future and then they reveal, oh, by the way, we brought back the actor from Legends, that future episode of Star City. And uh, yeah, so uh, we got that going for us. Uh, he was playing, well, he was... John Diggle Jr., but it's Connor Hawk, but yeah, anyways. Um, are you excited? I'm excited. You're excited. As excited as I can be. As she can be. She's like, she's just, she loves to flash more. That's fine. Do you like Supergirl more than Arrow? Yeah. There you have it. So, I guess I'm the only one who's really excited and hyped and pumped up. That's okay. I so, still watch it with you. I know. You don't have to, but that's nice of you. But uh, I, that, that's why I think with the title, it sounds like whoever's leaving these notes. You think someone's going to... No one's going to die, do you think? No. Imagine if they killed somebody off. That would be crazy. Well, they killed Curtis, but not really. So... It'd be, try. it'd be crazy if they actually killed somebody off in this, like... Who knows? But anyways... That would have been crazy if they actually would have killed him. It, it, and, like, that was canon, oh and, it, and they stuck with it. Like, out of, out of nowhere... Yeah. So, okay, guys, we're excited, and it's about to start in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we're done rambling. We'll see you guys with the reaction. We're hyped as fuck. Well, I am, at least. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Feels like Criminal Minds a little bit, you know? Right. Like. I like that. Because they're your only parental figures. He's being a typical teenager. Roy! He's back! Finally! God! He needs to come present day. He does. Oh! Jesus! Those two kids from last episode. Maybe it's a good idea that me and the team are going to be hanging out at the SCPD for now. Yeah. Cracks of heads. Yeah. Cracks of heads. Okay. I'm confused. Who was that guy? Working together again, being targeted by a Get it? Cause airs on Mondays. Ha! Money bags. Jesus. She seems very friendly. <laughs> no. Hey, cameo. I wonder if we're actually seeing him. She's like, I'm gonna call him. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The green arrow has entered through the front door. The green arrow. <laughs> the green arrow? Yeah. I better give the security system a little person. One of the many reasons why Felicity and I think that you should come back here and look with us. What? Mr. and Mrs. Clay. What are you doing here? Our grandson called us. 
things will be better and more stable. Okay? They will be. Right. Because we're taking him with us. I knew it. He sent into hiding from a mob boss, Scarlet Frank. My blood, maybe. But you are not fit to be William's guardian. He's not. Either. I recognize you. You know him. And so do you. You're Connor Hawk. John Dickel Jr. John Dickel Jr. Can I speak with you for a moment? Why? Sounds like you gotta go sit in the city again. William, get over here and sit down. He's coming the green arrow. <laughs> oh shit. You wanna give me a normal life? Yes! That's all I've ever tried to do! That's why I'm, That's why I've asked you to come back here and live this in this city. This is not my life. I wanna go live with my grandparents. Wow. Just let him go, man. Let him go. <laughs> well, that's not mysterious at all. Is that a goat head? Why did you even play a note? Seriously. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a horror movie before? He's the one who fucking said it! I know! We need to shoot it. I must place it back. What about that book that was right next to it? <laughs> okay, the light doesn't work. Do not go down the stairs! <laughs> I he damn it! I've never seen a horror movie. Oh, Dinah. This is where people die. <laughs> Oh my god! It's Stanley! Of course what? it's fucking Stanley! She's not dead, there's no way. She's alive in the future! That's how she gets the mark the scar. Not the mark scar. Let me guess. She can't. Yeah, but she can't use her cry now, I bet. That's that's what I'm thinking. We don't exactly provide a life of normalcy and... That's true. To ask Felicity why she disappeared from my life only to contact me now out of the blue. What, did you guys date or something? God, no. I'm gay and she's my mom. Exactly. Stepmom. Stepmom. Oliver Queen is your father? Oh, shit! God damn! Oh! <laughs> I don't like the fact that John Diggle Jr. is fighting Roy. I hate that. Oh, the flip. <laughs> oh. You first. Yep. Stanley. Don't worry, Robert. It's me. Don't worry. Which team? See his face? Awesome name drop. You're worse. You're the Star City Slayer. She's gonna die. Oh! Good job. You were taking a position in DC. Look, I know that Arcus does a lot of good. Wow. Never Is he leaving? I think he might. I mean, they did try to kill him off. It's signing over soul ownership of Helix to you. You have 
Okay. He really is leaving, it seems. She's pregnant! Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. My name is Mia Smoke. I'm Mia! <laughs> No, not a fan of that. <laughs> not a fan of that. Yeah, look. You don't know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah, the show's going on break and that's shitty. But I'm not a fan of her being Felicity's daughter. I figured that's what you were talking about. I'm not a fan. Not because I am anti-Felicity. I wanted her to be an original character that had no ties to anybody in the present. That's my issue. Because there were so many theories of, oh, she's Oliver's daughter. Oh, she's Felicity. No, she's Dinah. Even though they ran into each other, so it wouldn't make sense. But, then, but, but you know, when they when heard about her being casted and all that kind of stuff. Laurel's daughter, blah, blah, blah. All these theories. I didn't want her to be tied with, tied in with anybody. So they believe that she killed Felicity, but then she says she didn't kill Felicity. So who killed Felicity? I guess that guy that R Renee was talking to in the future? Remember when he was talking to that guy? He's like, did you have anything to do with that? Because apparently he's knows what's going on or something with the bombs or whatever. And the guy says that it was she was taken care of because she's a liability or something. not a fan i just kind of wish they would have just stuck with her being an original character with no ties to anybody because we already have so many of them we got dinah who's still alive we got roy who's still alive we have john diggle jr when they brought him in I'm like oh, okay cool but that was a brand new addition we have william who's of course oliver's son we got freaking um oh god what is her name renee's daughter I forget her name zoe she's in there too so many people that's already connected via the show. I was kind of hoping she'd not be connected. So do not twist this as, oh, he's he's anti-Felicity. So clearly this is why he's really pissed off. I'm just annoyed they did that. Whatever. Besides that, I really enjoyed the episode. It was pretty good. So that was pretty good. Uh, I like the fact that it was horror-based. I like Criminal Minds. I really like Criminal Minds, so I really enjoyed that aspect of the show. When they were showing the pictures being put up and then the notes, I'm like... Okay. At some point, we're going to get to Stanley. At some point, Stanley is going to come back. I didn't think he'd sure be the... Did. I didn't think he would be the, the killer. I thought that it was going to be somebody else with some connection to Team Arrow, whether we know the person or not. But now it's Stanley. Stanley is uh, was unconscious. Oliver didn't kill him. So but, where are they going to put him now? Uh, I guess put him in Slabside? Back in Slabside? Or take him to Arkham Asylum, because that's where he, he did name drop that. That was really cool. Um, now, William, he's been kind of shitty. It's the best way to phrase it for the last couple of episodes since he returned. I feel like I would be shitty, too, if those were my circumstances. Well, then, this is true. This is true. Like, how can you... <laughs> How can you not be shitty when your parents are just like, eh, we're just going to leave you there. Not even your, not even one of them is your real parent. Step parent. And he's forced in that situation. It takes Oliver this whole entire thing with Stanley as a serial killer to go, what do you want, William? Because the grandparents, I don't think we've ever seen the grandparents. Mm -hmm. That was the first time ever we've seen them. And it's funny how... That dot now I'm I'm wondering if they cut some stuff out of that scene because I was waiting for them to to, to say you're the Green Arrow. But then he would have to respond, Well, I'm best fit to protect him from the Green Arrow. What are you gonna do, Gramps, <laughs> if something happens? <laughs> and he's going to Central City, they have metas over there. That's worse. <laughs> like, Goldface could just whip out his chain and just start, you know, like strangle him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That was kind of weird. I kind of figured when Felicity got that call, she, she had Dr. Schwartz. And then she grabbed her belly. I didn't see the belly part. I saw where he's like, 
And then she's like, like what? what? Like as soon as she turned around, you could see Oliver. Oh, and then she grabbed her. No, she grabbed her I didn't see that. Okay, well, I'm good. You're glad you were observing because I so didn't see that. So that's definitely confirming that she was pregnant. Yeah, but then they show that two seconds later, I'm well, listening. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, well, as soon as she was silent, listening, and like, oh my God, on her face, pregnant. Why else would she call, by the way, Schwartz, that's Bess Schwartz, that's the showrunner's name, so clearly they just pulled her name. Um, okay. Interesting. Wait, unless Schwartz was the name of um, the doctor who's always been around. You know, the one who keeps popping in from time to time, who knows his secret identity. Um, regardless. Okay. There you have it. Donna's nut neck. Slit. And... I don't think Curtis is officially gone yet. Or is he? I, he was saying a lot of goodbyes. No, he was saying one goodbye, though. Well, he said one, like a, a second of goodbye to, to Diggle and just kind of waved at Renee, and then he hugged Felicity. That's not really a send-off for a character who's been involved since season four. If he's truly leaving, maybe it's next episode where he truly mm -hmm. gets a send-off. Bye-bye. I'm out of here, yo. No, I don't know. But I don't think he's officially gone yet. Because I feel like if they're going to do a proper send-off, he's, he's gonna... gone for just a little bit. Oh, that's true. Just like where he's gone until... He's taking a little break. Until something pulls him back. Yeah. Like a storyline and he has to return to Star City and, he ha and then he decides to stay. Yeah. Okay. That can make sense. Th there's a lot of things I liked about this episode. I like the fact that the tone of it was more horror-esque where like in crime drama where they're actually going back to the what arrow was kind of was but the crime drama all the time where they're trying to figure out the connections the pattern this guy started off in central city and captain singh had a cameo all that i like that um i i a lot of it is a lot of anger in this episode but i think going back to well oh, because I, I i went off track I think Dinah getting her throat slit that deep, I honestly believe she does not have her canary cry. Because she hasn't used it once in the flash forwards. She was fighting. She never used it once. So clearly she doesn't have it anymore. Don't know why they wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? wonder why there was no Laurel. Because she got the note too. You think Laurel would have been in the episode. She wasn't in the episode. You think she would have been involved because she's one of the people we saw. She was the first person who got a note. And Miss... Weird. And used it as, oh, it's this guy from Earth 2, and it's just an Earth 1 version of the same guy. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, anything I missed? I don't think so. I don't think so. Anything that was, like, too... Well, I mean, she she recognized John Diggle Jr. Dinah did in the future. Roy's an old man. He looked really old in this episode. You have filled this city. That's what it was. He's still, he's, still, he's still kicking ass, doing flips and stuff. He, still a good fighter. Can't complain. But anyways, overall, pretty solid episode. I had my one complaint. I ranted. Whatever. We'll see what they do with the storyline. I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm not like, shit, fuck that. No, I'm just letting my anger be known. Let my annoyingness. Is that a word? Annoyingness? I don't feel like it is. You get my point. I'm just, I gotta be honest. If I'm just like, everything's great and happy hunky-dory, then it's bullshit. So, yeah. Anyways. Good? Good? She's just tired. She's ready to go to bed. So, I'll end this now. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.